this week on Green Room Confessions. The biggest regret. Well, I, I, I guess it is a regret. I, I stole something when I was a kid, and my parents beat the living daylights out of me for, for stealing it. And I hated the embarrassment I brought to them for the trouble that I got into for the theft, but I learned a lesson. And, but you don't seem to regret the theft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> but you stole. I regret the theft. I regret the beating. I'm not, I'm not trying to put words in I your got mouth. It. I, I regret the theft. I you regret, regret the beating. I, re well, I regret the beating first and then the theft, but I, but I learned not to steal. Thou shalt not steal, and they beat that into me. I had a hard time turning 40, um, didn't know, didn't feel that I had accomplished enough, and I've been blessed to do a lot by the time I was 40, but I felt like I hadn't done enough and didn't know if I was going to have enough time to get it all done. And at 50, I'm in much, I mean, much safer and smoother and, and just you know, relaxed space, and my work is my work is moving along, but I just, I just feel better about life at 50 than I did at 40. I got my AARP card, I got my AARP t-shirt, I'm getting my AARP discounts, AARP real possibilities, and I want all of it. I don't know that marriage is on my bucket list. It's not something I'm opposed to. I, I believe that everything happens in our lives when it's supposed to happen. And I've been really working hard for these, you know, 50 years, trying to, trying to perfect my work and my witness. Uh, I've been dating somebody for a while now. It's going remarkably well, so it may be not in the too distant future. We we will see. It's in the Lord's hands. We're gonna see. I would love to be married. I would love. I would even love. I think at some point to have kids. I, I'm I'm from a big family. I've got nine brothers and sisters. I've got 31 nieces and nephews. So if I if I if I I was never rushed in a rush to have kids because I've got so many siblings and so many nieces and nephews. But it's not the, quite the same as having your own. But I, I would, I'd also confess to you, though, this is a tough world to raise kids. And I, I, I just don't know that I even want to bring a kid into this madness, and as strange as that is. But I'm glad my mom and daddy brought me here. So maybe I'm being selfish. I don't know. What is one thing people would be surprised to know about you? That I can dance. We know that now. That I can do the foxtrot. That I can do the cha-cha. Uh, that I love comedy. That I love music. That I love sport. When you, when you, when you host a show on PBS like I do, I mean, it comes. It sometimes annoys me, and people say, "Well, you know, show us your other side." I'm like, if you watch my show regularly, you see me talk to everybody. I love music. I love sport. I love art. I love a lot of things. But I think there's something about the nature of being on PBS every night. People don't really see that other side of you. But if there were a camera following me around all the time, you'd see a whole lot more than you really want to see. Um, I'm actually a pretty fun-loving guy. Thanks for tuning in every week right here on the AARP YouTube channel. We'd love to hear what you think of the show so far. So leave us a few thoughts below. And oh yeah, be sure to subscribe. <laughs>